In this video, we'll go over how to set the auto tracking on a camera that supports it with the new web interface. When you come to the browser and log in, we'll log in to our camera. And it will bring us to the live view. What we'll do is we'll close the live view. And we have to go in and set a preset to be able to configure our auto tracking. To do that, we go to the PTZ module from the home page. At the top, you'll see a preset. You can adjust your camera where you want the preset to be, and then we'll add preset. Once the preset's in this line, you'll apply it. Once the operation is successful, we'll close this module and we'll go to our AI. Under AI, you can see we're under Smart Plan and it says that add a preset first. So on our Smart Plan, we'll add the preset that we just made, preset 1, and we'll turn on either face detection or IVS. In this case, we're going to do IVS. We'll press Next. You can see our IVS is here, but it is not configured. We'll click on the IVS, and it'll bring up our IVS page. Next, we need to add a rule, either a tripwire, fence crossing, loitering detection, whatever you would like to use. I prefer the tripwire. So I'll add a tripwire. Once the tripwire populates under the IVS rule number one, we can see the auto tracking button. We can turn it on and we can turn it off. Now it wants us to set up the tripwire. For me, I'll start drawing some tripwire lines. After you draw your tripwire lines, you can see there's many things to select and change if you'd like. The tracking duration, I'd like to set that to 300. The target filter, you can either have it human, motor vehicle, do an event link, post record, how long you'd like it recording after the IVS is tripped, and so forth. Apply the settings and you can see the operation was successful. Now I'll go out and test if the auto tracking is working. As you can see, the auto tracking works very well with this camera.